Welcome back to this video about how to draw internal uh, common tangents of two circles. Uh, we are going to start from this point, this stage, uh, because it's just the same than the uh, former one. I mean, how to draw uh, tangents, common tangents, external common tangents of two circles. Uh, we drew a circle. Its uh, diameter is going to be O1, O2. Of course, we already get the perpendicular bisector in order to find out where the middle point is. And uh, from now on, they are going to be uh, to, to show up some differences between the two processes. Uh, instead of a uh, subtraction that we carried out in the uh, former activity, uh, we are going to add up. So it's going to be an addition. The, the first thing we are going to do is just draw on the upper side, oh sorry, this is too much, the upper side of the uh, page, uh, a, a line I'm going to take from point 1, that's the radius, the bigger circle, yes, and I'm going to transfer this measurement from this point, and I'm going to, to draw Not this way. So this this distance, this length, is going to be, of course, uh, one. I mean, the radius coming from O one. This is uh, one. Well, in order to keep going with the with the process, I'm going to take, of course radius of O2. So I take this radius and I transfer it, but instead of overlapping the one over the other, as I did in the last activity, I'm going to put the one after the other. So I have the two lengths added up. So this is going to be R2 R2 Since we are going to work with R2 plus R1 I need to put of course the compass at the beginning of the of the, the segment and take the whole distance I remember of course we are working with O1 plus R1 sorry plus R2. Yes, I put the compass, I place the compass on point O1 and I draw a circle that is auxiliar. Yes, as you can see here, we get two points. The auxiliar circle and the the one, its diameter is O1, O2. So I'm going to label these two points T1 and T2. Yes. And of course, next step is joining O1 to T1. I'm going to use a different color, pink color. O1 to T1 and O1 to T2, so that I can get these two points. Mm -hmm. Let's label them T3 plus T4. So we have. These are going to be solutions. Mm -hmm. Apart from the final outcome, I'm looking for. Well, and th this is uh, one of the most crucial points of the whole process. You need to draw from point O2 to radius parallel to O, or correspondingly, O1, T3, and O1, T4. So, but it's very important to keep in mind that they are going to be just the other way around so the direction is completely upside down, reversed so you have here this radius parallel to O1, T4 but this is going down and the other is going up so I'm going to stress the two points I got on the uh, circle O2 of course we will carry out this 
part of the process with the set square. Don't do that just hand, uh, freehand because it's a big mistake. Let's, as usual, label these two points that are also solutions. So this is TIF T6. Let's, let's call it T6. T6. Let's call it T5. Yes. And we're going to finish just taking a thicker line so that you can better see. Yes, uh, and a uh, black color. And the, the first solution is joining T3 plus, or two, sorry, T5, and T6 to T4. A uh, clue you can follow in order to determine if you uh, carried out the axis of the activity in the right way is just to check out if the two lines, I mean T4, T6, T3, T5, intersect at uh, one point over upon segment O1, O2. When we are done again, uh, thank you very much for your attention. Um, so long, my friends.